I'm Lorna French, Senior Education Manager for the City of Edinburgh Council. Empowered learning, uh, digital learning, learning, it's all about learning. Um, and Edinburgh is a city that's renowned for learning, going all the way back to the Enlightenment. Um, and we know the values that came out at that time of improvement, of collaboration, of ideas. It's in the stone, it's in the rock, it's in the, the, the DNA of the people and um, the legacy in the 21st century is digital. Empowered Learning is the, the digital device that we will give into the hands of every child, every teacher, every family to allow that collaboration and that innovation to continue. The beauty of empowered learning is that it's fair because there are issues in the city, uh, poverty does exist and at this point in the chapter of Edinburgh's learning journey it's important that we make sure that those values that we saw during the enlightenment of collaboration, of improvement, um, leading to world-class thinking, that those values are available to all children. I'm Helen Donaldson, I'm head teacher at Cramond Primary School. Having technology at your fingertips both in teaching and in assessing learning and in giving feedback to learners and learners having those skills to overcome barriers they may have to learning, raising a team that's going to be a natural byproduct but also an opportunity for children to see there is no limit to what they can do and how they can achieve. I'm Leslie Davis and I work at Cramond Primary School and I'm a class teacher. It's a much more inclusive way of teaching and learning um, because you're able to provide your teaching in many different ways. So, um, you know, children who would traditionally find uh, some ways of learning difficult, you can then find other ways to teach them. Uh, my name is Orla and I go to Carmen Primary and I'm in P7N. If you have dyslexia like me, we can change the screen to any colour you want and how light or dark you want it. And it's um, really helpful because when you're reading off the internet, it's like black and white, you're like, I don't understand this. And then you can just um, pop onto settings and just turn on the filters and you're like, oh, this is way easier to read now. My name's Ariana and I go to Cramon Primary School. Well, I feel like we should stop cutting down trees to make paper and stuff like that because we should protect our environment before it's too late and that's why I think digital work is better because it saves having to use paper. I'm Stella and I go to, um, I go to prim Crimean Primary School and I'm in P7N. I'm performing better with my confidence because um, I have learned how to present and it's easier for me and I just really am um, no quite confident with um, my learning. My name's Yasmin, I am the digital coordinator and primary seven teacher at Cramon Primary School. We have a very big focus on internet safety, digital safety, cyber safety. We will do, uh, Scotland does a cyber safety week um, and we participate in that. We have Safer Internet Day. We have teachers across the school who will discuss um, and um, create lessons that are tailored to talking to the learners about how to stay safe online. Hi, I'm Nicola Harvey. I'm the Head of Customer and Digital Services for the City of Edinburgh Council. This is such a good thing to do. It's about how we use technology in a really positive way, how we educate our children to use technology safely. But this is something that is good to do, that helps us raise attainment levels, it helps children learn in a different way, and for those children that don't have access to technology, we are now providing them with a one-to-one -one device. Um, and you know, it's a real life moment for some of those children. Um, so it's got such a number of positives across it. Um, it, it hits our, what we want to do in terms of our budget. Um, it, it means that we um, move forward with our digital strategy, but we're also doing good for education and for our children.